Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob and uh, here we are doing another episode of $20 Mill Serp Surprise. Uh, this is just, should be five magazines. Um, I'm sure that some people are going to call BS on it being $20 or less. Uh, there should be three sterling magazines, which I've asked for them to be new and wrap, and uh, two AR-18 magazines. Um, you know, some people just sell things for less than market value and uh, the opportunity arose and uh, I grabbed this one because they were a really good price. Um, now these do come from a uh, an online store so while they don't have any more AR-18 magazines I would have bought more than just two if they did have them. They do have far more sterling magazines. So let's open this up and have a look at what I've received. Those are probably the Sterling magazines, or AR-18 magazines. Ah, used 30 round magazine. Got the AR-18 cutout uh, by Sterling England. You know, it's, uh, it'll do the job. <clears throat> round sterling magazine. Uh, you can see there's no bump for the AR-15 in there. It does have the AR-15 cut out but no bump. Cut out for the uh, AR-18 and by Sterling England on the bottom there. So two of those and then these are the mill syrups. So these are Three sterling magazines. They're, they look nicely finished. Should we open one up? I think we should. Ah, they look, uh, you know, as advertised. I don't see any markings on them. Oh, yeah, there they are. A bit faint. Um, really faint. Sterling 9mm, 34 rounds, uh, patent numbers. I couldn't tell you if they were refinished. I mean, that's an awfully faint marking on there. Uh, but then, this is blued, so usually when you when a person refinishes everything, you know, they, um, they do tend to refinish everything and leave things like that out. But that's good because here we have a Canadian C1 pouch and these are going to go straight in and probably never come out again. Well, they are bottomed out. I don't see that ever closing. Well, I'm going to have to do some research on to whether Canadian C1 magazines were shorter than uh, British Sterling magazines because this is supposed to be a Canadian Sterling pouch and they're just not going to fit. Anyway, I'd like to uh, tell my viewers I'm going to change up the content or <clears throat> the format a little bit. Um, Rather than do a single video for every $20 or less mill syrup surprise, I'm going to combine them so that um, there I have more room for other video content. Um, not everything in this world is uh, $20 mill syrup, but uh, I do have a lot of, lot of other content that I would like to cover for my viewers. And so... Uh, from now on, I'm going to start, you know, uh, all items will be $20 or less, unless stated. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I might do a, um, every month, say, I have to apparently buy a VZ60 um, harness set now. Um, so I might do that all in one, one shot rather than uh, each individual item that I order. And uh, so 
that is the format I'm going to move forward with, unless I get some comments otherwise. And until next time. Thank you.